Hello, and welcome to another edition of House of Wisdom's Lightest and Best Knife Reviews, where we look at a variety of manufacturers' lightest and best offerings. And today we have a special treat. We're looking at the Brian Nadal Mini Typhoon. And this is just a lovely knife. Brian Nadal is a knife maker in Stanhope, New Jersey. He's been a full-time knife maker since 2013. The Mini Typhoon is a smaller version, it's a 3.0-inch version, of the original 4.0-inch Typhoon. Several of his knives are named after weather disasters. He has the Hurricane, the Typhoon, as well as the Mini Typhoon, and the Cyclone. Let's talk about the specification. The blade length is 3.5 inches. The handle length is 4.5 inches, giving a total life length of 8 inches. The weight of the knife is 4.2 ounces, and I have some knives here for comparison. We'll start out with the Hender XM18 3-inch, which is a bit smaller. The Tashi Barusha Rowdy, which is a little larger. The Spyderco S, which is smaller. The Millet Moen Max Evolution, which is larger. The Chris Reeve and Kosi, which is smaller. And the Shirogorov Neon, which is smaller. The blade of the knife is made of S90V in a drop point configuration. It's got a high flat ground with a fuller bilaterally. It has distal swedging and jimping on the back. The jimping is optional, as is the fuller if you have a custom made. The only signage on the knife is on the clip side, which is the maker's mark, and it's very delicate and tasteful uh, on the flipper tab. It's the BN, the maker's mark of Brian Nadal. The method of deployment of the knife is by flipper. As you see, it has a configuration which causes you to do a button press. The detent is dialed in just perfectly and it has a great flipping action. The um, handle is made of titanium and as you can see, there is a very faint milling uh, pattern. It doesn't give you much of a grip, but it's there and it has a great aesthetic value. There are different handle styles. This, uh, with the portal, he calls the aspirated handle. There are five holes that are cut and it functions to display the blade as well as lighten the knife as well as add aesthetic interest to it. There are also the knife handles made in the chevron pattern, the diamond pattern, a pattern with textured bumps, and then he has customs. The one showed here has uh, zirconium handles with diamonds. Fenestrative knives are made by other makers. I'll show you the Spyderco fenestrated knives I hear. In the Spyderco, not only the handle but also the blade is fenestrated. In this particular model it has the compression lock on the back. Also the Toshi Barusha Rowdy has a fenestrated. It has five portals and it has the same idea. It displays the blade and lightens the handle. So of all of the styles that he had, I wanted the fenestrated, what he calls the aspirated style. There's also an aspirated style made by Daryl Ralph called the ventilator. I'll put up a picture here. It has some horizontal openings that uh, display the blade and lighten the handle. The back spacer on this particular knife is at the very back of the knife. This is done in a, a beautiful mint green and it's at the very end of the knife so it gives you an open flow through design that's easy to clean out. And whenever you get a custom, the back spacer uh, anodization color comes free. You just pick the color that you want and he'll do it for you. The pivot on the knife is a stainless ball bearing thrust pivot. It's disassembled with a T15 Torx driver on both sides. The lock is a frame lock and it has a lock bar insert that is removable. 
The way he does his detent is interesting. He doesn't have a detent ball. As you know, most frame locks and liner locks have a detent ball, which is a ball bearing, a very small one, that's press fit into the end of the uh, lock bar insert or the lock bar if they don't have a lock bar insert. This one, he gets a thicker piece of metal for the lock bar inserts and he mills away everything here until the very end and then he leaves a little nub of material there so that it has this detent nub. And what it does is it takes away the detent angle. I'm going to show you a a knife that has a detent angle. This is the Hinder XM18. And whenever you take it through the path of motion of the blade, you have two clicks. Click, click. The first click is when the detent ball falls off the blade tang, and the second click is whenever the lock bar insert engages and locks the blade up. Another thing about this type of a knife is that when you open the lock, you have to clear the detent angle. We'll see. The detent angle on this hinder is about, I'm going to say, 25 degrees. But that's 25 degrees that you have to keep your thumb in the blade path. And then after you clear the detent ball on the tang, then you can move your thumb out of the way and close it. And that's the way knives have always been made. This knife, the detent is at the very end, so you just give it a little cock and your finger's out of the way and you can move it down or you can shake it down. This has a great a action so you can shake it down. The other only other knife that I'm aware of that you can ha do this with is the Chris Reeve and Kosi. And what Chris Reeve did was he put the detent ball, he milled out an area and, and press fit it into the very end of the lock bar. So the detent ball in effect acts as the lock bar insert as well as the detent ball. And I'm gonna take it through the range of motion and as you can tell, there's just one click at the end, just like the Brian Nadal Mini Typhoon. And that's why I have both an Nkosi and a Mini Typhoon. I'll pay good money for engineering design coolness like that. Well, we'll talk about the uh, pocket clip. The pocket clip also has some interesting engineering. This pocket clip is not held by any screws at all. Uh, it uh, dives into the handle through this slot here and as you can tell it comes out and then there's a little milled out area and it's sandwiched between the back spacer and the handle scale and that's how it's held no screws at all Brian was tired of the clips coming out it wiggling losing a screw and so he designed his pocket clip screw uh, pocket clips so that there are no screws holding it intact. It's another engineering feat that's really interesting. The ergonomics of the knife are very good. It has a milled out area that's chamfered and smooth for your forefinger and then there's plenty of room for the rest of your hand and look how much handle I have left over. This is a good size knife which was my initial reservation about getting it. As you know I, I like smaller lighter knives and this is about as small and light as Brian Nadal makes though so I had to get it. The action of the knife is excellent, and with the detent nub, there's not two clicks whenever it deploys, there's only one click. We'll talk about ordering this beautiful knife. Brian's books are open. He had a second run on the Mini Typhoon as of July 2017. His books are still open for this. So I'm going to leave down in the comments section the URL address of where you can go to order one. The base price of the knife, if you just get a solid handle, and no jimping and no fuller. Uh, you can choose four different blade styles. It's $450, and then you add the add-ons. For example, to get the aspirated style, it's another $25. To get fullers on the blade, that's another $25. To get jimping on the back spacer instead of a smooth back spacer, that's another $10. And to get jimping on the blade spine, that's another $10. And so you can pick and choose the things that you want. Many of the things are free. There are six different blade styles that this knife is available in, and four of them are free. This is the drop point. There's also a Tonto, a Japanese Tonto. The only two you have to pay for are there's a harpoon style and a clip point style that he has a little bit extra that he charges for those. Uh, the anodization color on the backspacer is free. He, ha he has 100 different voltages 
meaning a hundred different colors that he can do your backspacer in. So if you like purple or blue or yellow or copper, he can do all those colors for you and that's completely free. You can also get the handle anodized, you can get the hardware anodized. There are 17 different customization points that he can do for you. Many of them are free. For example, this is a right-handed knife. He will do a left-handed knife for you for free. And whenever you make your order, all you have to do is leave a $50 deposit. Many knife makers will have you pay for the whole thing up front, and then they'll have you wait a year to two years to get you your knife, and that's just painful. So... You guys go on over to his website and order some of these beauties if you're interested in it. So what are my overall impressions of the Brian Nadal Mini Typhoon? I absolutely love it. Are there opportunities for improvement? As you know, I have a knife preference that I usually like smaller blades, so it could be a 3-inch blade. And what do you know? He's coming out with the 3-inch blade Micro Typhoon. He says that it'll be coming out in 2018. But what do I like about the Mini Typhoon? I like the detent nub and how it makes the action distinct and interesting and one of the smoothest actions that there is. The lack of the two clicks on opening and the easy closing, getting your thumb out of the way quicker, I love that. I also love this particular version with the aspirated version and the portals. It's really interesting, really beautiful, and it makes the knife much lighter. I like the pocket clip design too, how it dives into the handle scale and is held screwlessly to the knife. Uh, that's very interesting engineering. On my particular knife too, I really like the mint green backspacer. It gives an otherwise plain gray Soviet Union era looking knife a little pop of color. And I like the overall fit and finish. Everything is chamfered and smooth. Even the insides of the holes of the portals are chamfered and smooth. It's really nice on your hand ergonomically. So, if you're looking for a perfectly smooth knife with excellent design characteristics, like the detent nub, which makes the action very smooth, and the pocket clip, which uses no attachment screws, and which has overall superior fit and finish, and which you can almost fully customize for very little money, then the Brian Nadeau Sharp by Design Mini Typhoon may be the knife for you. You guys go ahead and go on over to his website and order one if it's the knife for you. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom, Lightest and Best Knife Review. Mm -hmm.